Hey friends, it's Sammy back with another episode of The Daily Dash. That's right, it's everything you need to know from around the world and in my life, straight from my car dashboard to yours. Today is Thursday, October 17th, 2019. Let me tell you what you need to know so you're in the know around the water cooler and in car line today. Okay, Jennifer Aniston not only joined Instagram, she broke it. That's right, her first picture with a reunion of her friends from Friends literally shut down the app for some time. She already has like 12 million followers. Crazy. Um, Congressman Elijah Cummings has passed away. It's National Pasta Day. Um, what? Else? Oh, Louis Vuitton is opening a ranch and factory in Texas. Interesting. And yeah, that's a little bit of your news. If you missed any of that, you can always catch up below. Of course, you can find me at the Sammy Cohn on Twitter and Instagram, sammycone.com. And I'm on YouTube. And while you're at any of those places, would love for you to follow or like or subscribe. It just helps keep our conversation going and keeps the Daily Dash appearing in your newsfeed. Okay, so what's going on? So this week has been a crazy week. Um, we won't go into <laughs> reviewing everything. Lots of highs, lots of lows. I will tell you, though, I am. I feel like giddy because this weather is just so... It's literally life-giving to me. I mean, there's a lot of things that are frustrating and sad and could easily bring me down. But to have this beautiful, I don't know if it got over 60 today, sunny, clear, it just literally breathes life into me. So I'm so excited. And I'm really excited the weather has been like this because I did something for the first time a couple nights ago that I have never done in the 10 years I've lived in Nashville. Can you believe it? Well, you don't know what it is, so maybe you can. I went on a rooftop bar on Broadway. Okay, so let me let me clarify. So lower broad as we call it or the you know, lower numbered end of Broadway. That's the main street of Nashville. That's where you see the honky tonks. If you watch anything that has Nashville, if you want, you know, anytime there's a football game, anytime there's an American Idol or a show where they have um, someone auditioning from Nashville, they always show Lower Broadway. That's where all the live music, everything. So Broadway ends at the Cumberland River, and then across from the river is Nissan Stadium, where the Tennessee Titans play. Okay, so it's like the hotbed of tourist action. It's also where Bridgestone Arena is, where the Preds play. There's a ton of concerts there. Country Music Hall of Fame, um, the Skirmerhorn Symphony, the Grand Ole Opry, well, no, sorry, not the Grand Ole Opry. I get in trouble. The Ryman is down there, all within like five, six blocks of each other. So it's a great spot. Locals just don't go down there a lot. We just don't. We leave it for the tourists. Enjoy your time or unless we have company in town. So when I was invited to a new menu preview of Dirk's Bentley's Whiskey Row, I was intrigued for two reasons. One, again, I just don't go down there a lot. And two, I genuinely thought Dirk's Bentley might be there. That was, yeah, he wasn't. Spoiler alert. So anyway, so we went and it wasn't just in the bar area. It was up on the fourth floor at their rooftop bar. And I just, I've never been on one. And I mean, man, I see why they're so popular. And there's so many in Nashville. We looked around and Jason Aldean, Blake Shelton, Florida Georgia Line, all these guys have bars down there and they all have them. And it was so gorgeous. Like it was the perfect night, kind of like we're having now, just cool and clear. And you could see everything in the city, but you were above it all. Oh. It was so nice. Okay, so that's the ambiance, just great. Well then, because they have a new menu coming out, they had little tasting portions of all of their new menu items. And I mean, everything from steak and potatoes to really fresh salad. So my favorite that I had two of was the buffalo cauliflower. It was lightly fried, it had, I can't remember, it was like a buttermilk pesto dipping sauce. I don't, it was so good. So buttafalo cauliflower and the barbecue chicken salad was really good too. And there were a lot of lighter offerings. So you think bar food, no. Um, there was a spring berry salad. They had a chicken primavera, but with zucchini noodles. They also had an artisan hummus. So, and their steak sandwich, which again, I'm not like, hmm, give me a steak sandwich. I almost went for seconds of that. If I wasn't trying to avoid gluten, I probably would have, but so flavorful, really, really good. So yeah, my only disappointment, Dirks wasn't there to sing to me. I know, like, it's the same process where I think I'm going to be the only one at a Black Friday sale. I legit thought that he was going to be there. I mean, we just met, well, met's a strong word. We just sat adjacent to each other at the North Italia restaurant opening not that long ago. 
I thought there was a connection. I was wrong. Yeah. So I guess I'll just have to go spend more time at the Whiskey Row and maybe he'll show up. I know he's the one country star I want to meet. I mean, I'm sure there's others. The Herman and Kimberly Schlappman from Little Big Town. I really think we'd be best friends. Yeah. But Dirks, Dirks, call me. You and your wife can come on the show. We can talk parenting. Okay, I digress. Anyway, I want to thank the folks at Whiskey Row for having me. Um, it was delightful, and I really can't wait to go back. I was excited. It's a whole new side of Lower Broadway that I was opened up to. So that was that. I will put some pictures up on here after um, I post this. I also want to pray, lots of peace, peace and prosperity over you today. Now, I'm not getting any, like, hocus pocusy. But I was reading in 1 Timothy this morning, and I read that combination together, and I realized that's not the first time I've read that in the Bible. And so I just want to, wow, I can't say it all, peace and prosperity over each of you today. Okay, friends, I pray you have a great day wherever you are. Make sure you make it great, and do not wait to tell someone you love how you feel about them. Bye, friends.